Hi, I'm Christian from the Stain Studios. Hi, today I wanted to show you my new uh, upgrades for this um, Planetary Clock 3D. So let's uh, just install it. Um, this is the version 2 uh, of, of this uh, clock. So you can see there's all this smooth uh, movement of the clock. That's one thing I added. But then it looks like the same, but it's not really the same actually. It's a lot of new things. So before you could set the earth date here when you click the, the first one. But now you can actually do some other cool stuff. Um, for example, we can start with just showing off um, when you add the, the planets. Here you can see they're not moving. Yeah, they move a little bit, but then if you look at the Earth, I have actually added this um, gyro. So now if you go to the right, then it starts to spin. And actually you can spin it up and down also, so you can look on the top and you can look on the bottom of the Earth. And uh, that's of course the same for all the planets. So if you take, um, for example, Saturnus, then you can see the rings. You can see the rings moving. You can stop the movement. Um, so you still have all the planets and you can still do this calculation of time of day um, on the other planets uh, compared to, to, to Earth. But then there is a lot of new things here. Um, if we take a look at this watch setup, then you can actually uh, turn off the analog if you want to. Then you only have this digital, but you, in that case, maybe you think the digital part is too small. You go in here and then you take big digital. Now you have a big digital watch, it's still the same color. So what you can do is, okay, I want something else, you say. So you can actually pick another color. And you can actually do some custom colors here. But that I will show you later on in the video. So you can start by, okay, I want in yellow. And then you go back to the first and then you can see that now you have yellow digital clocks so that, that's nice um, and what you can do more is that you can actually say that okay I don't like the digital part so uh, I delete that one also or remove it then you have a clock without any clocks <laughs> uh, maybe not so useful but uh, the one you can't take away is this um, second hand that will always be there. Uh, but you can actually take away the other the battery icon, also the calendar. Then it looks like this. You only have the planet. So that's pretty cool. So, okay, what can you do with the planet then? Uh, we have more in this place setup, but I will come to that later. So for the planet setup, you can have the gyro tilt, that's the up and down. You can have the spin rate with gyro. If you if you disable the gyro, uh, you can disable the spin rate, for example. Then it will spin in in one speed. It won't change if you if you move, but you can change the up and down movement of of. The, of the planets. I'm sorry for the for the, for the lights here. It's just uh, that I'm quite dark in my room. So, but yeah. Um, so yeah, if we can take a look at this. You can have the static spin rate. So you can change that one. If you you can change it down to 0 0.5, 0 0.05. 
then it spins really really slow uh, and in that case you can see the the clouds are actually moving on the on the, on the planet but as you can see it still moves a little bit so you can't stop it in that case but if you if you run with the um, gyro then you can actually stop so, so this is the, how fast you want the planets to spin. So you can uh, have up to three here. And then it spins really fast. So it depends what you like. I don't like it to spin that fast, but maybe some of you like that fast. So it's an option you can have. I like more like 20 or something. Then, then, then that's cool I think uh, what can you do more then yeah you can do planet pulsation that's how much it uh, goes back and forth so here if you have here you can set it to zero actually and then it's static it doesn't move anything it just rotates uh, so, so then you can actually uh, you can take to ch change the location here you can have if you have zero here then you have it the closest you can have it and if you don't have any pulsation that, that's the closest thing you can ever have but if you use pulsation here then you will actually get it closer to you it actually will pulsate so if you take for example here if you take mm, Oh, sorry. Uh, take this one to up to one, here. then it will be quite almost in the face of you, <laughs> actually. Uh, so that that can be quite nice. Um, so if it spins around, but it's. I usually, I usually have it at like, like something like that. Um, then you can also for for Earth, you can remove remove the clouds actually, if you like that better. Uh, but it, then it's feels like a little bit more flat, so I, I usually have it. This one on actually. So that's the planet setup you can do. We can add this spin rate back again. Then we can spin it. We can stop. Spin it faster. Stop it. And then we have the new things with the uh, all this. If you have the analog watch. Uh, enabled then you can actually change the hour hand you can have different colors of it you can start with that the light color is one of the, the things you can set so you, if you set it to red and dark you can set whatever you like to, to also so then you have the color filter so so it, if you only want the light color to show or the dark color to show or both of them so if I choose both of them here then the hour hand will change so if we maybe remove the planet and you can see it a little bit more easier that it's red around and and actually yellow in the middle there and you can do the same for um, the minute hand so if you want them exactly the same color wise then you just change that and then you have to colorize both of them so you can see now you have a red color for all of them for both of them so what's more then yes if you don't like to the watch hand then there's type here also you have a round type that's really small but it looks like it's big like a donut and then you have one of these here and then you have this one and they have hour 
you have actually Endeavor here. That that's quite cool. You can have Endeavor, and you have also the the colors for the, this ones also. But if you change to Endeavor, then you should have the Endeavors. extra tanks for the endeavor so here you can see when you change the colors you actually change the, the arrows there so they will move around and then uh, you have a lot of them you can have whatever you like on on the hour hand for example if you want to have this one then you can have that that's one uh, this one for the the hour and that one for the minutes. So, so you can have whatever you like in combinations here. Um, so for example if you have the minute hand here you can change it to that one would be the same but you maybe want to have the minute that's only showing the minute then and you can see I still have the red for the minute and yellow for the other arrow so you can change that however you like them uh, so you have that one and then you have look at the hour hand type here you have one that, that's uh, not that's a more solid one compared to the other one um, then you have uh, other types you have that one you have a small one you have this one that's more of a normal one maybe so if you change mini tan there also then you can have the matching one that's the number two then so yeah that's the way it looks then uh, you can still have the planets of course in the background Then if you change, yeah, we can take a look at the last one. Oh, we have two more. Now we can take one and the other. If you take this one, for example, yeah, this looks more like a pen. But then you have the donut is over there actually. So and then if you want to change. Change the colors. Let's just change the colors here. You can have whatever you like. So I said, maybe you want it green instead. And for this one, maybe you want to change to blue. And um, blue and uh, orange in this case. You see, you got the blue and orange, and you have the green do not there. Do I have more? Yes. If you don't like my colors, then you can actually have custom colors here. So how do you do them then? You actually take one of these custom colors, then you can change the values. So if you change this one, or maybe change this one, then you can see this is the color you choose. change and you can see that they're changing so say so if I want red more red here then let's choose this one let's show less and you can see that you get more red here and this one you get even more red if you go up so this is the RGB values and this is the value you get so you can actually have whatever like you like, whatever color you like, and you have the, the RGB for it here. So then you can see that it changed, and then you can uh, use these colors if you want the light color, your own color, and you go down to the custom color here now. So I wanted this one, and then let's see what's happened. Yeah, and it's like red there 
so it's a lot of customization you can do now actually so uh, so you can do however you like now so that, that's quite nice so you can have like <laughs> looks like pens pencils or something yeah over there you can have a our planet in the background, or you want this one? Yeah. So, so sometimes you need to move it quite a lot. Just to see. Some of them are quite hard to see when they rotate, maybe. You can see you can see the rings rotate on this one for example so yeah that's what I wanted to show with my new clock here or the version 2 of the clock face actually so it's not the new clock face so you guys who have already bought it you you will get it in an update so yeah and of course, the, the digital watch is also, you can also choose the color you, you made for the custom color. So now you have the custom color for the watch trace. And then, of course, you can name it battery and the calendar if you want to. So, that's the new watch face for me. So. I hope you enjoy it. You can find it in uh, uh, Samsung uh, their store, Samsung store. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye bye.